This is H review of Star Wars Clone Wars CW08 Pre Vizsla. The figure is part or was part of the uh, first wave of Clone Wars figures for 2010. So before we take a quick look, uh, before we take a look at the figure, <laughs> we would uh, take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, you've got Pre Vizsla's name tab there, uh, as well as it, um, the Death Watch logo and his number. It does include Dark Saber as well as the battle game card die and stand. We also have an illustration up top there of Previsa from uh, the animated series. You have the bio there uh, as well as a image of the figure and the collector. That's enough with the uh, packaging now on to the figure this is a very 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 well done figure it's not as good as Embo uh, I would say but it's on par I think uh, again I've not got Savage in armor yet so uh, I don't know how he's good how good he is but people have said uh, he, he's probably the best um, Clone Wars figure to be released but uh, I'd say he's a close second at the moment, uh, so. Uh, for detail on him, uh, he does have his Death Watch logo on his shoulder cape, as well as uh, very similar designs to uh, Django Fett and Boba Fett. Uh, boots, holsters, which I'll show you the pistols in a minute. Uh, he also has half the Death Watch. Death Death Watch, De I mean Death Watch um, logo up there at the top of his helmet. I do apologise for the plaster. I hurt myself. I had a boo boo. But, um, it's very nice. Oh, lightings. Yeah, there we go. Uh, he's got a jetpack as well. Uh, people have complained about his jetpack saying it's very very loose on um, ah uh, sorry on mine it's not that loose uh, it still wobbles a bit but it doesn't come off that much uh, uh, he's also got a symbol on his shoulder there now, I'm pretty sure on the TV show, um, he's sort of got light grey, instead of all this black, but it's not actually black, it's sort of like a brown, it's got like a brown tint, which uh, is alright, but I don't think it's as accurate to the TV show as it should be. Uh, so, as for accessories, he does come with two Wester 35 pistols I believe. Uh, if it is a comparison with Django Fett's, uh, th this was a Wester 34 but it was modified so um, I believe that th this is the, ne the next generation of the Wester Mandalorian Blaster pistol so um, it's cool. So let me just give that back. Put that back. There you go. And uh, one problem is the way it's packaged. He has his pistols with the elastic bands wrapped around to keep them in his hand. Um, unfortunately, that creates more room in his hand. So there, there you go. Um, it's not as bad on the right hand with his dark saber, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, on his left, it's very loose because of the band, so you can't really hold much in there. It does sit. It doesn't hold. Uh, he also, as you just saw, come with his dark saber, which um, it is very nice, apart from that it needs to be just like a tad longer, so about... Uh, to there, I'd say, then I'd be fine. Uh, 
but again he can hold that very nicely in his right hand and not his left let me just show you for a minute uh, yeah it does just sit it doesn't hold so let me just put this blaster pistol back in his holster uh, also uh, he does come with a removable helmet let me just give him his dark saber back um, so when you remove the helmet it reveals a very very nice head sculpt of Previsor. As you can see there. there. Who knew that's not worked? Ah, there you go. Very very good likeness to the animated model. As you can see the shaved back of the head. And once you've taken his helmet off, this then allows you to take the shoulder cape off and have him uh, dual with. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Unfortunately, I do not have a Season 1, 2, half of 3 uh, Obi-Wan. When you have the Season 4, uh, 3 and 5 Obi-Wan. But, uh, that's... Uh, and also, the jetpack is also removable. So, that's good as well. So, uh... Let me just put his accessories back on, and I, I will... Oh, another thing with the dark saber, it, it, it is black plastic, but it is translucent to black plastic. So once you hold it up to the light, uh, it it does shine. Um, I can't exactly do that now, but uh, it w if you have it or when you get it or if you ever do uh, hold it up to the light and it will shine so articulation on this figure is really quite remarkable for just coming out of the uh, like red packaging line uh, he does feature uh, let me just uh, pose him a bit better he does feature a ball jointed head, uh, so it can look up that far, which isn't too bad. Can look down that far. Uh, he does have, so he's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows. A ball hinged wrist, so this one goes down, whereas this one goes in and out. Um, he's got a ball jointed torso I think it, it does move side to side but it does look if you take the jetpack off and bend him as far forward as possible then you'll see it's uh, the movement it's placed like a um, a hinged torso uh, he also features a ball hinged hips ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles so there are no swivels on this figure at all I don't actually know if I own a figure that doesn't feature a swivel at all. No, I don't think I... Oh yes, the Clone Trooper Vintage Collection Sculpt. So, um, I think that's about it. Uh, so, there, I would definitely recommend you find or try and get a version of this mould. But I think Previsla is definitely the way to go uh, with the mould. Because um, I think you can have Previsla without the Mandalorians, but I don't think you can have Mandalorians without. Or is that the other way? I don't know. Uh, but, um, yes, it's a very, very good figure. I would highly recommend it. It's definitely in the top five of Clone Wars figures. Uh, well, that I have. But, um,. So, if you like what you saw, press the like button. If you didn't like what you saw, press the dislike button. If you want to share your thoughts and opinions on this figure, or anything in general, no, scratch that. If you want to share your thoughts on this figure, comment below. If you want to have any opinion, uh, share your opinions, or um, uh, have a chat, then like my Facebook page. 
facebook.com slash that's biscuit 429 uh, link will be in the description mm. below please like it please <laughs> only joking you like it if you like um so uh, also if you want to see more of my videos subscribe and until next time thanks for watching uh, my next reviews will be the new European international exclusive uh Clone Wars figures, they all start coming out from the 11th, which is Thursday. So expect those reviews to come out weekly. Again, um, I mentioned this in my Embo review, but um, from the 11th I will have a review up weekly. They will be filmed on the same day, but uh, put up a week from the first video. Week, weeks going on until from the first figure to the last. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.